Welcome to my channel. Around here, you want something, you gotta build it. Follow along. Let's see what I can do. Welcome back, guys. So as most of you know, I built this airplane behind me several years ago, and each year I try to do something to make it a little bit better. A few years ago, I put all new spar carry throughs through the inside to strengthen it up. Last year, I believe I did a whole new control system, which gave it differential ailerons, and this year, we're going to do something a little bigger. I'm going to build a new set of wings for this airplane. Everybody that I talk to that has this new style wing, they just love it. And they say it's so much better than the old style. So, let's find out. So if you guys are interested in seeing what it takes to do a scratch build set of wings, newer style, and fit them to a Model 1, 2, or 3 kit box, follow along. Let's go build it. Okay, so what we start out with is a... 12 ply birch plywood. First one cut. This is going to be my actual template. So I got 20 of them sitting here. Now we will start making up our router jig. My template is done. You guys can kind of see this is the top of it. the bottom. What I did is went around and found where all these holes are, these three, drilled those. So when it's locked in here, every single one should be exactly the same. Let's get them loaded up, cut it out. Okay, so it's now ready to go. The biggest trick when you do these insides is you gotta figure out where you're going to end. And wherever that is, you make a little bigger hole so the piece has some room to fall. So we get this one cut. You guys kind of saw at the end, I ran over everything twice. When you do that, just take any wiggles out that you got. When you got to make 20 of them, you want them all exactly the same. There it is. Okay, so one down, 19 more to go. So we'll get another one loaded up and keep going. So we got all 20 of them finished up and cut now. As you can see, when you build a jig like that, you almost get CNC precision. My next step is I gotta provide a one inch glue surface for fabric. And for that, I'm using this 1 8 inch plywood. I think it's got five or six plies to it. Very strong stuff. Thousands of other airplanes have used this successfully, so we will do. Just gotta cut them and glue them on. Okay, so I got the cap strips are all cut and ready to be glued on. For that, I made this special jig. What it does is holds the rib in place. It keeps these cap strips perfectly centered, nice and square on that rib. Use it, just push the pins in, just locks in up front. Okay, and then these boards on the side, they hold the glue gun, so I glue right down the center, and it also holds the stapler. With the glue, we're just using the high saw adhesive, epoxy.
there you go guys, you just saw what it takes to scratch build a set of wing ribs for this airplane. If you got something out of this video, please hit that subscribe button and like the video. Uh, definitely follow along. I will make a couple more videos as I go, and when the new set of wings is finished, we will put it on this airplane and go fly it. Thanks.